Okay, sixth grade, lesson 56. This is on common denominators, part two. All right, so let's pick up where we left off earlier, okay? But this time, what do you notice about my problem? Two different denominators. Two different denominators, just like normal, okay? But can I use three or two to do this? Uh, no. no. Because three will go into three, but will two go into three? No. No. Will two go into two? Yes. yes. But will three go into two? No. no. So, can you come up with a number that both of these will go into? No. Yes? What number will both two and three go into? Um, Four? Six. Six. Very good. Two will go into six and three will go into six, right? Yep. So let's try to make this our common denominator. Okay? Okay. Three times what is six? Uh, two. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, so we, we thought three would go into six and two would go into six. So that's good. We've chosen a common denominator. So how many times will three go into six? Uh, two. Two times. So what we do to this one, we have to do the top one. One times two is... Two. So we're saying that one third is the same thing as two six. We just made more slices. Okay? Now from two to six, what do we do? Uh, two times uh, three. Very good. So what we do right here, we have to do the top. And one times three is three. Okay? Mm -hmm. So one half is the same as three six. Right? Yep. All right. And so we're adding this. So I'm going to erase all the other stuff because it just gets in the way. All right? Now let's work our problem. Three plus two is... Five, and then six is our common denominator, so we just leave it. The answer is five, six. Okay? This time, I want you to try another one. Ready? Write this one down on your paper. Three-fourths minus two-thirds. Now, okay. does anything come to mind of what both four and three will go into? Um. It's going to be a medium-sized number. No. Okay. Will eight work? Four no. will go into eight, but will three? Will nine? Nine. Three will go into nine, but four won't. Okay. So watch this cool little trick you can do. Four times three is twelve. So you can actually use that if you can't come up with another one. Okay? Okay. So because we multiplied the two, we know that both of these numbers will go into that. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, in order for me to get from 3 to 12, what do I have to do? Uh, 3 times 4. Right, so I'm making it 4 times as many slices. Okay, and what I do at the bottom, I have to do at the top, right? 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, now let's look at this one. 4 to 12, what do I have to do to get that? Uh, 4 times 3. Very good. So what I do at the bottom, I have to do at the top. 3 times 3 is 9. nine. Now this is a subtracting one. Okay? okay? So watch what I do. I just kind of do this and put my subtraction sign. Okay? That just helps me. And so then 9 from 8 is 1, and then we have common denominator 12. Feel like you understand it? Mm hmm Okay. Last little portion of this. We're going to compare two fractions. Are you ready? Mm hmm This side has 3 eighths, and this side has 1 half. Which is bigger? Uh huh. So, what can I do to find out which one is bigger? I need to have common denominators. So, what will both 8 and 2 go into? Uh, 4? No. 2 will go into two. 4? 2, right? No, 8 won't go into 2. Oh, well, yeah. Um, it usually has to be bigger than the smallest number, okay? Can 2 go into 8? Two can go into eight. Okay. So you want to choose eight? Uh-huh. Okay. So does this one change? Uh-uh. Because it already has eight. But let's change this one to eight. What did I do to get from two to eight? Four. Times four. Times four. Four eights. So, which one is bigger? Uh, four eight. Very good. See how we did that? Uh-huh. Okay. Let's do one more and then you're done. Put, write this one on your paper. Two-thirds... 
3 fourths. Now, let's ask ourselves what number will both 3 and 4 go into? Uh, this was like the one we did earlier. 9? We thought 9. Oh, yeah, that's what. Okay, 12. It's right? going to be 12. So I'm going to go underneath it. Since I'm going to have to do both of them, I'm going to put a 12 down here and a 12 down here. Okay, you staying with me? Okay. Mm -hmm. How get from how do we get from three to twelve? What do we have to do? Three times four. Four. And so do I do I need to write this out? Here, let's put it out to the side. In order for me to get from three to twelve, I did what did you say? Uh, three. Three to twelve. Oh, three. I'm times writing four. it on the other side because I don't have room. Okay, three times four. Times four. Times four. Two times four is eight. So two thirds is really uh eight. Eight twelves. Okay, let's look at this one. How do I get from 4 to 12? Uh, times 3. Times 3. Times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So I have 8 twelfths and 9 twelfths. Which one is bigger? Uh, 9. Very good. And that is our answer. That is lesson 56.